this uh, tutorial is to create the actual JavaScript. Now you can see that in my child theme, I created a folder called JS and uh, loaded in bed-search.js. And I loaded in with a inq function. This is a WordPress theme. And I call that with here. Now this is a nice technique. Uh, this is uh, goes outside of this tutorial, but it is a nice technique with when you're creating a short code to load in only the scripts you need for that particular short code. That way, if the search is on only the search page, you don't have to load in that JavaScript on the home page. And so that can be kind of a nice little technique, and that's what I like to do. Anyway, you can see that I loaded in this, and I only have a little uh, console log just to make sure that it's loaded and it did. Now, uh, we're going to have to load in a few things, so um, let's first start by calling jQuery, and I believe jQuery is already loaded in the child theme, but let's uh, double check. And it looks like it is, so awesome. Let's uh, go ahead and do this. And now the first thing we're going to do is we want to be able to, when we submit this, you can see that it refreshed the page, and it does this whole like get thing. We don't want that. We want um, it to submit and it to do nothing. Um, we're just gonna call some other function. And um, after we call it, we can just make it so it loads right down here um, and says some kind of alert. So let's go ahead and call this. And now we're gonna do um, we're going to look at our HTML and look at how this is done. And everything's going to be within here. So let's go ahead and call this. Now, a nice, a nice way of actually doing this is to scope everything within your bed search. So then your form doesn't interact with anything else. So let's call this bar <coughs> bed search. And now within bed search, we're going to find our form. Let's call this far search form. And just to make sure all this is working, you can do a little console log. Let's call this search form. And you can see that it is loading in this form right here. You can see how, how it all works. Now, here's where things get a little bit interesting. We can do our little search form. And we're going to do the jQuery submit function. And we can just call the function right in here. We're going to call a function within it. And we're going to pass an event. I always like to call events E. We're going to do a prevent default. And this console log saying form submitted. Let's go ahead and do this. And now when we click this, you can see that now, instead of refreshing the page, it actually calls a function. So the next thing to do is for us to actually go and get the values of each one of these. Um, so then when we click search, it'll actually um, make things happen. So we can go in here. Now there's a, a couple ways we can do this. We can do it the fast way or we can do it the slow way. Um, the fast way would actually be to use like the jQuery serialize array. So we can do like console.log like that. And we can do like search form dot serialize array. I believe that's it. And you can see that it's actually doing each one of these. So 
Um, that's like one way of doing it. Um, but you can see that it's not getting this um, and it's a bit more complicated. Uh, we also have to do more work. Now the easiest way to do it, and if you know exactly what fields you're gonna search each time, and maybe you wanna do some validation on it anyway um, in the future, let's just select each one of these and we're gonna get our, our data that way. So we're gonna create um, a variable called data. And inside data, it's gonna be an array. And now we're gonna pass a few things. We're gonna put type, we're gonna pass type, size, and width pocket. So to pass this array, we're gonna do type. And let's, uh, we're just gonna do test, and then we're gonna do size. and then with pocket. And let's console this data just to see what's returning. And then we're gonna get the actual data next. You can see that it does return it. So let's go ahead and actually read this data. The way we read this data for type, so we can just simply do We can do it. And let's just make sure we have these names correct. And we have to get the dot value of that. And let's go ahead and do it for this one. Oh, and it looks like I forgot to change the ID on this. <clears throat> so that's a good thing we're doing it here. Now we just so we just have to change this to bed size. Um, that was a mistake I made in the a previous video. But that's okay. We can fix it right now. And one more. Now checkboxes are a bit uh, weird, so we can uh, we just have to do it and check if it's checked or not. Um, this. And I like to use the prop. And let's just make sure that it actually works. I'm going to go back to our console, submit it. You can see this is false. If I check this, now it's true. Let's go ahead and select each one of these. <coughs> and you can see that it all comes along and it's really nice. Now you can also see that this matches up perfectly with the data that we're gonna to have to go get um, pretty soon. So the next step of this is actually passing this data from our, our form and making an AJAX call. And we're actually going to pass this uh, data array and we're gonna pass this through an AJAX command through here. It sounds more complicated than it is, um, but this is definitely the uh, complicated part of the project and that'll be the next step of this tutorial. Thanks. Talk to you soon.